Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams. The action figure show about news, reviews, collecting tips, customizations, kit bashing, everything that goes into this fun, nerdy hobby that you and I both love. And in this special episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Hasbro Indiana Jones Adventure Series Cairo Indy. The last of the Indiana Jones Adventure Series figures in my collection. After this one, I've got them all. I mean, I have them all now, but this is going to be the last one I take out of the box. And I'm going to share it with you. So let's uh, let's take a look here. We got Indiana Jones Adventure Series. There you can see Indy, the Cairo Indy there on the front of the packaging. You can got the little picture there of him drawing his gun, getting ready to blow away the Cairo Swordsman. And I'm sure there's been a lot of rumor and speculation and uh, hearsay and negativity towards this line of people going, Ah, oh, they've canceled it. Ah, oh, what are we going to do? No one's, there's been no official statement from Hasbro that this line's been canceled. You know we're going to get a Cairo Swordsman. I'm going to make a video about this. You know we're going to get a Cairo Swordsman. You know we're going to get Molaram. You know we're going to get Willie Scott. You know we're probably going to get a German mechanic. You know, so just hang tight. It's coming. It's coming. And the uh, anyway, we got Indiana Jones Cairo there at the bottom. Hasbro logo, warning, choking hazard. Don't put any of this in your mouth, especially the monkey, because why? Uh, ages 4 plus, plastic-free packaging on the side here. We got more of that artwork from the movie, from the little basket chase. Dun, 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 um, Plastic-free packaging, multilingual on this side. We've got the entire... Uh, well, the wave, uh, this is the Build-A-Figure or arc, ar uh, Artifact wave, um, but then that one is, this one is the, and this is a deluxe, too, by the way. Jibbery jabbery legal jargon. On the back here, we've got a digital rendering of Indy with all of his accessories, um, and then there's the figure again. Jibbery jabber legal jargon, ages zero to three, you know what that means. If your child is not born yet, they shouldn't play with these toys. That's right, you're welcome. Disney Hasbro, and then on the bottom, more jibbery jabber legal jargon, houses of Klingon, and barcode. All right, I'm going to get him out of the box. We're going to get him on the pedestal. We're going to have ourselves a look. And here we have him on the pedestal. Let's have a look at the accessories. First and foremost, let's get the little monkey out here. Uh, we uh, He comes with the same monkey that Marion Ravenwood came with. And I'll tell you, for, for just a simple little accessory, they did a pretty good job um, with the sculpt and the detail on this. He's got his little vest on there, with a little red vest with the gold on it. Um, looks really, really good. You even got the little dangly dingly thing here on the back of it. Um, and the monkey is, uh, somewhat, uh, articulated. His head moves, um, it's on, it's on like a swivel. Yeah, it's got, uh, it's got a ball joint on there. And, uh, his arms, uh, he, he has a, I don't know if they move outward. Oh, they do. They do slight, well, no, they're just, nah. Well, I don't know, I can't really tell. I can get this damn camera to focus. Um, yeah, he's got, it does have the up and down. I don't know if it's got, it seems like it, you can, yeah, you can sort of get them out there. Um, no articulation on the back legs, but, uh, you know, uh, and then you got a swivel on the tail, too, right there. But, uh, yeah, the little monkey. Little uh, Chapukin, Chapukin monkey? I don't know exactly how you say that. Cute little monkeys. I'd love to have one as a pet, but people say they're mean. Um, and then we have the unfurled whip. This one in a weird sort of, a, usually it's kind of like a big curly cue, but uh, this one is more, I don't know. I'm not going to, I'm not going to use this one with him on display. I'm going to have this one in his hand because this is going to be the only Indy on my shelf that's actually actually holding his 38 uh, revolver. Uh, but then we have the coiled up whip there too. We've seen that a million times. Uh, but then here is the revolver. Um, and uh, as I said back in, and when I undid and I unboxed the uh, Temple of Doom Indy, um, I thought, I didn't think that they put the brown paint app, but he had brown paint app on his uh, grip on his handle of his revolver. So that's that's kind of interesting. 
I might actually swap revolvers and put that one in his hand um, because I'm going to have him, you know, pulling his gun to shoot the swordsman. And then we have uh, three sets of hands. He's got, uh, by default, he has sort of a semi-splayed-out hand on his left and a... Uh, he's got basically what is his whip hand on his right. And then he comes with two fist hands, um, as you see right here. I got so many indie hands. <laughs> um, he's got two fisted hands right here. And then we have uh, more of a more splayed out uh, hand here for the left. And then we have the trigger finger uh, for the right, which is the one I'm going to display with him. Uh, and then here is Indy, um, and he stands at approximately between, uh, to the top of his head at six inches, but six, between six and six and a quarter inches tall to the top of his hat. And, um, this is one that I didn't necessarily need to get because it didn't have anything to do with the build a artifact, but, uh, We've got that same snarling indie face that we saw. It's, I think it's the same head sculpt. It's a reuse of the uh, in, uh, Temple of Doom indie, uh, the one that's missing his right sleeve. Uh, it's that same snarled look. Um, I guess it would be the look of dysentery because that's what he had. That's why they shot that scene like they did. Um, he's just like, I don't want to do this. And you just pull, they, they said, well, just pull out of your gun and shoot him. Um, but, uh, yeah, really good sculpt. We got the shirt untucked here in the front, sort of a John Constantine kind of thing going on. Uh, and, um, yeah, the, the shirt is very untucked in a couple of places here. Um, he's just all tussled up. Uh, he's, he's been running around the streets of Cairo, chasing baskets, trying to find Marion. And um, comes with his satchel. Uh, there was by default it was on him. Uh, draped over to the left. Uh, we've got the belt with the holster and the loop, um, which I am not touching those on this one uh, because this one's actually going to go in his hand. Um, that, I'm going to leave that hand on, and this whip's going to go in his hand, and the revolver's going in uh, the other hand. Uh, we've got the shirt with sleeve roll, sleeves rolled up there to his almost to his elbows. We've got the classic brown pants going down to the... Tattered, sand-blown brown shoes there. Uh, can't see his belt buckle, but it is under there. That uh, belt with the Han Solo buckle. <laughs> brown belt. Um, so, yeah. Uh, looking at articulation, we've got the head with a ball going into the body or a ball in the body going up into the neck. We've got a dumbbell going into the head, giving us full rotation on that head. His neck is not exactly lined up. There we go. Uh, we've got pretty good down, not too bad on the up. No removable hat because, you know, why would we do that? Um, uh, very good tilt because of this system. Uh, we got some uh, little bit of butterfly joint in there. Not a lot. I don't know if we really even call it that. We got an O-ring in there holding the arm in place, giving it a little bit more articulation. Um, which actually in, in a lot of ways restrains it. Um, you pop that out, put that arm in there, you'll be able to get around. I'm not doing that. Um, full rotation at the shoulder and uh, hinge at the shoulder, arms up to there. Joints are very, very smooth. Uh, hinge at the elbow with a swivel and then down to the hands where we've got that peg system. I'm leaving that one on, but I am going to swap this one. For the trigger finger hand, put that on. Oh wow, that one. There we go. Well, that one's that's not coming off. Um, he's like, "Hey, what's up?" Um, so yeah, move that around. And uh, then I don't think we have. Oh, yep, there is a ball joint mid torso under there. But you're not getting any ab crunch out of that because of this shirt piece on his torso. But we do have a ball joint at the waist for a little bit of hula hoop and some detented waist swivel there as well. Uh, legs out to there. We've got uh, no drop down ball joint, but we, we do have a thigh swivel, single knee with a swivel uh, down to 
the feet where we have detents on the feet and a forward rocker on the feet. Um, let's go ahead and get his whip in his hand. There we go. That's not, uh, let's put it in this way. I think it will fit better. I think it will fit better. There we go. Just so he's holding on to that. And then let's get that gun in his hand. It is such a small gun, though. Boy, that's difficult to get in there because that gun is so rubbery. Um, that handle. There we go. Trigger finger. Uh, trigger finger fits in really nice. I'll be honest, man. This is, this is, uh, I'm digging this. I'm really digging this indie. Um, more so than I thought I would. I'm actually really glad I picked this up now. Um, he looks pretty damn cool. Uh, I, I, yeah. All right. All right. I'm digging it. Um, let's pop him off the pedestal. We'll line him up with some other characters and we'll see how he scales up. And here we have him with the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series, Episode 4, A New Hope Han Solo, the Hasbro Marvel Legends Series, 20th Anniversary Captain America, the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Duke, and the Mezco 112th Collective Superman 1978 Christopher Reeve uh, Edition. Uh, all in all, I really like this figure. I think he looks really cool. I'm, again, I'm, I'm, I'm more satisfied with it than I thought I would be. Um, I'm going to give it an eight out of 10. Um, I, I don't, that's pretty high for the Indiana Jones series for me because of the articulation issues, uh, at the elbows and the shoulders. Uh, but this, uh, being the last of, of what is available right now until we get the new ones that, uh, I'm sure will be coming out. Um, that compiled with all the neat stuff that he comes with, you know, I've got another monkey that I can, I can have all kinds of fun with uh, using that as props and different stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, even an eight out of ten. I really, I really, really like this. It looks good. It, it's very reminiscent of the that fight from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, what can I say? Eight out of ten. It's a great figure. Uh, that will do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of my channel. You all have yourselves a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. Until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.